ship here carrying containers, the Atlantic Sun. The hoses, uh, we're doing some bunkering today. That's what the hoses are for. We're bringing on fuel. He's going down here to the locks. And then he'll enter the lock right down there. So that's the ACL Atlantic Sun. This is Antwerp, Belgium. All right, so today, guys, we are taking on bunkers. The lower manifold here is our heavy fuel oil, which we will be taking later. Right now, we're taking the ultra-low sulfur fuel oil. We're just watching the back pressure here. It's good. And uh, it's good temperature now. And it just connects out here via this crane down to the barge. And we have communications with the barge. Here's the radio that we have from the barge. And this is where we take samples. However, I don't have enough back pressure right now. So we will probably have to get the samples off the barge. Not quite enough back pressure to get it off here. And here's the barges right here. Okay, here they go. They're entering into the lock now. And then the gates will close and the water can be pumped out and then they can sail out to the other side. See the gate to the locks closing. And the bridge is going down. And they will pump the water and all the ships in there will go to the other side. You can see the black gate. Now here comes a, a ship coming through the locks the other way, coming out of the lock. So we're all finished fueling. There goes the barge. It's called the Atlantic Power from Rotterdam, Holland. 
So the day is about over here. Been working since 3.30 a.m. So I'm gonna go enjoy this Halloween evening in my room after I have dinner and just relax for a while. seen a tugboat like this before the actual winch rotates all the way around the house like a carousel we've never seen one like this before it's just pretty cool you can see the winch there you go rotates
All right, guys, a beautiful cold morning in Germany. Me and my partner over there. We're flushing the water hose out. And what we're doing, here's the ship. We're loading in Germany right now, Bremerhaven. And we're bringing some uh, potable. So we're just flushing the hose out. And then we're gonna connect it to the port tank and fill it up. And then move on to the starboard tank and do the same. So that's the job this morning. Just gonna let it flush out for a little bit. It's a beautiful day here. Remember now in Germany, nice cold morning. So here's the hose connection. Guys, I'm standing here by the mooring lines. This is the dock bollard. You can see the lines going to the ship. This is the stern, the four uh, lines. We've got two spring lines up, up there and there's a little safety bite line. I'm just waiting for my partner to come back. He's putting the uh, hose to the tank and I'll start up the pot of water filling. We're gonna bring on about 100 tons. Okay, here comes my partner now. Okay. Now I'm gonna go fill the tank up, guys. Okay, so I'll start off slowly. So we got water going now. I'm gonna wait for him to come back and then I'll crank it up to full. I just wanna make sure the hose connection is good. There he is right there. So everything must be good, we'll crank it up. Okay, today a lower engine inspection is being conducted. We opened all the doors. It's being rotated right now. You can see the, the lower connection rods there and the crankshaft. Okay guys, we're here on the side of the engine now, one deck up, you can see all the way through. This is the underside of the pistons, you can see the, the rod going through right there. This is the cylinder liner, right here, you can see the next cylinder up here. So that's where the line, this is the cylinder liner, and the piston undersides. This is the scavenging airspace on the main engine here. All right guys, we're on the other end now. So you can see the liner here again, and the holes up there. 
see the oval shaped holes. That's where uh, their groove too. That's where the air goes through and creates a swirling motion on top of the piston uh, for combustion. And you can see all the way through the engine. So this is Scap Airspace. Maybe if someone knows what this is, they can let us know. I'm not sure exactly what they're tugging here. They're towing something. If anybody knows what that is, please let us know in the comment section, guys. That's the brow, how we get on the ship right there. Maybe they're gonna move it, it looks like. Maybe the cranes need to get somewhere. So they'll probably put it somewhere else. Okay, the brow is back. What happened, guys? There goes the tractor. The crane had to move uh, past where the brow was. So he just had to move it so that he could get by. Alright guys, the port tank is pretty much full. I'm going to shut down and we're going to hook up to the starboard tank. What we'll do, we'll take a meter number. We'll know exactly what we put in each tank. And then we're going to do a total of 100 cubes. So we'll use this at the end too to make sure we have 100 cubes exactly. So now we're just going to go switch over to the other tank and start it up again. Okay, so I got the lid on here. The bolts are loose. So I'm gonna use my trusty wrench here. We'll tighten it up. guys we're all buttoned up on the port side halfway done okay guys we're about 130 cubic meters now so we'll go up to about 150 and that'll be about topped off then we'll disconnect and we'll be all done the water tanks will be full and this is the potable water that's the water we use in the house for shower sink everything fresh water Okay, this is looking down inside Bay 54 cargo hold. You can see the levels there where you walk down. You see the little step ladders. And this is the bottom. They're taking the cargo out now. Here comes the crane. Here goes the crane right now. That's the spreader. it by a little bit. There it goes. A little rough.
rough on the crane there. Okay, so here's another shot inside the cargo hold. This is the one right in front of our house. It's the first, it's Bay 54. the spreader again. Much better. Okay, we're sailing from Antwerp and we're gonna be in Rotterdam in the next couple hours. There's a lot of ships sitting out here on the anchorage, just sitting on their anchor waiting to go into port.